Hi students, welcome back. Coming to the next topic that is how to access the class variable. So in the previous video, I explained about how to access the instance variables. Now let's see how to access the class variables. I already said Java uh, contains variables. So the variables are divided into three types. One is the instance variable, another is a class variable, and another is a local variable are three types of variables that are used in the Java programming language. So instance variable I already explained. Uh, the class variable is also explained but now let's see how to access this class variable. Just recall what is a class variable? A variable that is defined as a static member of a class. Static member of a class. Okay, a variable that is defined as a static member of a class that you call it as a class variable and memory allocated to class variables whenever class is loaded. Class is loaded, memory allocates. Okay, so this is I already explained students and where this class variables are stored, the class variables are stored on method area. Okay, where it defines, when it loads, okay, that I already explained. Now let's see how to access the class variables. The class variables can access uh, four ways to access. There are four ways to access class variable. Can you guess what are the four ways that the class variables can be accessed? One is directly. You can access the class variables directly or you can access the class variable by using class name by using class name or you can access the class variables by using an object by using an object and the last one you can access the class variable by using an object reference by using an object reference okay so these are the four different ways we can access the class variable so what I said, the class uh, allocates memory. Uh, class allocates memory when it is loaded only. Okay. So whenever, uh, if you want to access those variables, you can access directly or by using the class name or by using an object or by using an object reference. So generally, in the programming language, in Java programming language, we will prefer to use the first and second one, and these two are not recommended to use. Why these are not recommended to use? These two are not recommended to use. You can use but not recommended to use because directly by using class name is somewhat easier and it doesn't occupy a lot of memory space. But by using an object and by using an object referent, it occupies more space. So that's why generally these two techniques are not recommended to use. So if you want to access the class variable, either you can go directly or by using the class name. So I'll explain what is this directly, how to access uh, by using an object or by using a class name or using using a object reference also let me take a simple example to demonstrate this how to access the class variables so let's take the class a sample is my class name okay static int a equal to 50 what type of variable it is it is a class variable why i'm saying it is a class variable if the variable that is a member or static member of a class so here i mentioned static suppose if you didn't mention static then it is a uh, what type of variable it is suppose static is not there what type of variable it is if static is not there it is instance variable if static is present then it is a class variable okay so public static void main string arguments okay so first system dot out dot print ln. So I'm just printing the a whatever the value that is I initialized with a so the a is printing. So this is what type of it is directly accessing this. This is a class variable right. This is a class variable because the variable that is uh, it's a member of a static class. Uh, it is declared with a static so it is a class variable. So I'm just calling the static variable directly, directly. So this is calling directly. A, we can access a class variable directly. This is the one option. So directly 550 is printed. Next method system dot out dot print ln 
sample dot a. So what is a sample here? What is a sample? Sample is a class name. Sample is my class name. So it is by using class name. By using class name. I am accessing the class variable. Accessing the class variable by using the class name. Sample dot a. Another method. System dot out dot print ln. So the third type of accessing the class variable is by using an object. So how what is an, how to create an object? New sample is an object creation dot a. See here, this is an object. New sample dot a. It's an object creation. So you can also access by using by using an object. And the fourth one, last one. So the last method is system dot out dot print ln so directly uh, first you first you need to declare the object you have to create an object reference sample d is equal to new sample so creating an object reference and access it system dot out dot print ln d dot a okay so this is by using object reference by using object reference so this is the way you have to write the program so in all the cases the output is 50 only here is also 50 sample dot a by using the class name you are accessing the class variable a so this is a 50 you will get a 50 Okay, system dot out dot print by using an object new sample dot a. So here also you'll get answer 50. And these two steps is this is object reference creating by using an object reference. So first sample d is equal to new sample. Object reference has to be created and access with the help of an object reference d dot a accessing the static class variable by using object reference okay here also the output is 50 only so in all the cases you will get the answer as 50 but these two are preferable and it is easy to access the class variable you can access the class variable directly or by using the class name it's enough okay so if anything is required so you can go with object reference uh, by using an object lastly is object reference Okay, so first let me, uh, I'll just write a simple uh, uh, program. Let's check whether which uh, syntax is the correct one and which is not also. So let me take an example and observe the program and try to identify whether the step that is I had written is correctly correct or not. Class test static int x is equal to 10. Okay, this is one class. I'm taking another class, class demo. Okay, so here the static int, again I'm writing another uh, class variable, static int y is equal to 20. Public static void main string or okay. So now system dot out print ln x so this is one type of declaration next system dot out dot print ln test dot s clearly and try to find whether the step that had done is right or wrong it's statically valid or not System dot out print l demo y. So this is my program. So let's observe whether this each step is so in the program. The two classes declared: class test and class demo. Okay. So here first it goes start int is equal to and this is an class variable. So this is the correct class variable declared. So, this is also a class variable. So, program comes here. So, first open class, entered into the 
compressors and coming to the static int y equal to 20. So public static void main. So now entered system dot out dot print ln x. So is my statement is correct? System dot out dot print ln is equal to x. Is it correct? It's an error. Why it is an error? Any guess? Because it search for x in the demo class. Your x is a present which is in outside the class, outside another class. Okay, but this system dot out dot print ln, it, it search in the demo class because it is present inside the demo. So it is searching for the searching in the demo class. But in demo class, y is there, x is not there. So this is an error. I'm writing the error also because it search for x in demo class. Okay, so next, okay, the first this statement is error. Next, system dot out dot print and test dot x. Is it correct? Yes, it is correct. Even though it search, uh, if test is not mentioned, it search in the demo class. But here I already mentioned the class name. So this is direct access. And this is in the direct access. X is not present in the demo. So this is by using a class name. So by using class name, you can mention test dot x. Test is which is present in another class it the controller will go to that class and check whether the x is present in that class or not so if x is present then it prints the x value as 20 okay so this is valid it goes directly to the test class and print now system dot out dot print and y yes it is correct no error valid why because the controller will goes to the demo class and check whether the y is there or not yes y is there and prints the 20 so this is direct access accessing the class variable directly so now demo dot y so is it valid yes it is valid so without y and with y, with class name also you can access that is why i said you can access the class variable directly or by using class name so here I am using the class, by using the class name, I access the uh, class variables, I use the directly also. So one thing you have to remember that if you want to access uh, the class variable directly, so that variable has to be present within that class only. Suppose if that variable is present outside the class, if, if the class variable is present outside the class, better to call with the, by using class name, by using class name call that variable so this is how to access the class variables so i hope you'll get uh, at it right or wrong okay so this is the way to access the class variable so one point you have to be remember that let me write that point okay let me write that point so access the class variable directly access class variables directly if it is present in, if it is present in same class, that is what I said. If it is present in the same class, access the class variable directly if it is present in the same class. Use class name, use class name to access class variable, use class name to access class variable if it is present if it is present in another class, if it is present in another class, okay. So, this is what uh, accessing the class variables, how to access the class variables. Thank you.